Hello there, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Chit Chat and welcome back to another episode of Planet Coaster where we are working on a studio theme park. On the last episode, we worked on this Hollywood Boulevard cinema screen where we will feature a uh, animations of my pet chinchilla Miko kind of in the style of the old 1930s rubber hose, uh, Steamboat Willie playing crazy Mickey Mouse cartoons. But on this episode, we're going to be working on filling out the rest of Hollywood Boulevard, basically our main street to the park. And uh, you're going to see a lot of struggle on this episode because my brain it just when it comes to just making buildings sometimes it's just it farts out and i'm like i don't even know what i'm doing most of the time when i tackle rides or i, t I tackle something that's themed i have a general idea of what i'm doing but when it's just like i've got a lot of space and it needs a lot of stuff i'm just like oh my gosh i have no idea what i'm gonna do so there's gonna be a lot of back and forth you'll see me finish a building and then delete a building and then like modify it and at some point we do utilize some of the um, just the generic skyscrapers or the generic um, kind of old style buildings, which I believe came with the studio pack. So I do utilize some of those and then just modify them to make them look more like general facades. Another thing we're going to tackle in this video is kind of starting to make a back lot. Now, um, when I say back lot, I mean, I want to make this more of like a working theme park than the Mario park that I'm working on. And that is including areas for cast members or, you know, maintenance or just general crew to get in and out of without going down the, you know, the the streets that the park guests are going down. So there's going to be like back areas and kind of like maintenance buildings to the park. And I want to try and utilize that as much as possible. Just I always thought it would be really fun to try and it's, it's a bit of a challenge to figure out like, okay, if this building's here, then there has to be something behind it and that has to be accessible for a crew and maintenance and all that. So I just thought it would be kind of a fun thing to add to this park, you know? Um, maybe one day I'll make like the, those fantastical rides that m may or may not be able to be created in the real world. Cause some of those, some of those, oh my gosh, I've seen so many that are like mind blowing. I'm gonna give a shout out right now actually to my good friend, Red Nebula. Um, she has made one of the, I mean, I also really like it cause it's Mass Effect and I love Mass Effect. She made a super cool Mass Effect dark ride. And it's one of those like fantastical, like crazy designed rides where it's just like, it's so cinematic and everything just looks so friggin' cool. Uh, so tip of the hat to Red Nebula. Definitely go check her out. I will link to her channel in the description down below. She's also made some really cool um, ride skins. Um, she made one that was themed to Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, the Mangled character, and it's a really cool looking ride. It works really well as the skin uh, for the ride that she chose. So definitely check out her channel. She's got a lot of cool Planet Coaster stuff. So yeah, definitely big shout out to Red Nebula. Uh, please continue making stuff and hopefully one day, maybe we can collab. I'm saying it here. I'm saying it now live. Not really. It's a YouTube video. It's not live, but you know what I mean? Let's, let's, let's make something cool. <laughs> so, um, like I said, you're going to see me kind of struggle with these buildings. This one, I actually kind of, I, I kind of like, I was thinking of, um, some of the buildings over in universal city walk. Um, as like I said, this is going to be kind of a, a, a combo smash of Main Street from Disney and City Walk from Universal Studios. And eventually I wanna have more stuff kinda of like suspended from or attached to buildings like signs and posters and character art and stuff like that once more of those assets get built and once we have more areas of the park kind of filled out. Now, I did mention in the last episode about one of the areas of the park is definitely going to be animation driven. Uh, another area that I really want to have for this park is something I actually made on my other channel back when I just had one channel, which it was like art and animation and video gaming. And it was just like, it was way too much for one channel. Um, and I originally made a Power Rangers theme park and I made like the command center from the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And I really want to revisit that, especially now that I'm a little bit better at Planet Coaster. And I think it'd be really fun to make a semi roller coaster, semi dark ride experience, especially when you're like 
in the command center and this was back before we had screens so like i couldn't really make zordon or i couldn't really make alpha or you know have any of the rangers show up because it was like you just had to build it you know so now that we have access to screens i could make those effects and i could have like you know as the coaster goes forward alpha can like turn and look at you and be like ay 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 the rangers are in trouble like something like that i think it'd be really fun um, then like Zordon's like I will open the morphing grid and like send you off to help the Rangers out And then like the roller coaster just kicks it into high gear because it'll probably be like a launch coaster or something like that And it'll like teleport to the city so then the coaster will like weave in and out of the city I don't know. It's just like something I've always wanted to do and now that I can kind of do it. I want to try um, I also had someone in one of the previous episodes, you know talk about like building um uh what was it it was a like a godzilla like a godzilla um themed ride and i think that'd be it's funny because i'm actually wearing a godzilla shirt right now i know it's only vo so you, you can't tell but i promise you i'm wearing a godzilla shirt right now and i love kaiju i love a lot of the old like cheesy fun godzilla movies um and so like the re the, one of the reasons I liked Power Rangers so much is because they always had these really unique and weird and wacky monsters and they were just so much fun. They were always one-offs, you know, you like very rarely did they ever come back except for like, you know, like Goldar and Lord Zed and, um, and, uh, what was it? I, I'm forgetting. Oh, I'm forgetting the blue one's name. Oh, and Finster who made all the putties, but I can't remember the blue one's name. It was a weird blue guy. And he think, I think he had wings and like a monocle. I don't remember. I'm not a true fan. Oh, my Power Rangers credit cards being revoked. Charge it, charge it to the fandom. Anyways, so yeah, I definitely want to have one of those areas animation for sure. Cause again, over the garden wall. And um, there's some other things I'm thinking about. Um, I've had a couple of suggestions about other things in the animation world that would be kind of fun to tackle but I also want to do I've seen my concern is there's also some rides that I want to do that I've seen other people make rides of for example I think it would be really really fun to make a xenomorph alien themed ride but I've seen some other ones and they are incredible and uh, I feel like there's no way I could even come close to that but I want to like kind of give it my own spin, you know. I want to try and make something really fun. And I think I think the Alien franchise just has such a good like it would make such a good dark ride, you know. Just like it would just be such a good dark ride. And we've had hints of it as a dark ride in the great movie ride over at MGM Studios. They had a section where like two xenomorphs pop out and a really really bad wax figure of Sigourney Weaver is kind of standing in the corner like looking over like, "Oh, there's definitely some aliens in there." I'm like, "Ho ho, wow." There definitely were. There was two of them, one off the side and one from the ceiling. The ceiling one got me as a kid. I thought that was scary as heck. Um, but then uh, the extraterrestrial ride, which is now the Stitch's Great Escape, I think. Uh, I actually never got to go on the extraterrestrial. It looked so... I've seen so many videos and it looked so good. But I remember... This is when I was way younger. This was the first time I was at the Magic Kingdom. And I, I think I said in the last video, I didn't remember it hardly at all. Or I didn't remember it at all. But one of my distinct memories was seeing extraterrestrial. And I was like, oh, that looks cool. And my grandparents were like, no, 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 no. We're not going there. That's scary. I'm like, okay. Can we go to Space Mountain? You bet we're going to go on Space Mountain. Uh, so, <laughs> but that... I didn't get to ride, I did get to ride, or I guess it's not really riding, it's a theater, it's a round theater where like these, this harness comes down and it, it touches your shoulders because essentially the alien or now Stitch, like at some point they simulate as if the alien or Stitch is kind of like bouncing or is laying on top of the harness. So the harness kind of applies a little bit of pressure. Um, it's really, it's a, it was a really unique experience. I just wish I got to see it before it turned into Stitch. And I love Stitch. I love that character. So I have so many Stitch things. I have so many Stitch pop figures. <laughs> you have no idea. Um, but I feel, I feel like that ride, like, I don't know. There's really cool parts about it. Like they have the, it, it, it's, it's playing off of the scene where he gets captured in the first movie and they, they have these giant like gun arms that are tracking him. And those arms are like really cool because they move, uh, they're huge and they move really fast and they're super impressive. And the Stitch animatronic itself was pretty darn impressive. But again, I just, I wanted to see it in its original form, but 
The reason I brought that story up was because originally that was going to be a alien xenomorph themed ride. Now, is that concept cool? Absolutely. Does it fit in a Disneyland park? No. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know what what they were thinking because I, I love the franchise, but it does not fit like it does not fit in a, in a Disneyland park, you know, like Star Wars. It's under it's it does have its dark moments, but it's, it's not like things are bursting out of people's chests and there's blood everywhere and they're they're dropping swears like crazy you know it's it's like it's on it's it's in the disney brand you know especially now i mean they they, they own it but before they owned it it still kind of was in line with the more family friendly theme park haha <laughs> can't have swears oh no that's not family friendly <laughs> well even though they do swear in marvel movies they do swear in marvel movies but that's you know i'm glad that the I'm glad that Disney doesn't like crack down and you know Disneyfy everything. They, they seem like they buy it and then they step away a little bit. I don't know about like Star Wars. I feel like their hand in Star Wars has been a bit more aggressive than it has been on the Marvel Universe because the Marvel Universe feels like they can just do whatever they want and as long as it makes money, they're okay with it. But I feel like Star Wars are a little bit like, oh, you better make sure we sell toys. I gotta make that money. Oh gosh, do I have to make that money? Do you know how expensive that Star Wars land is gonna be? Oh my gosh, have you seen the bill? I don't know, what are we, what are we, we gotta make up so much money. Which is probably why uh, Pixar Pier didn't get a lot of money, huh? But drum, drum roll. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, don't hate me. Don't hate me. I'm just saying the Pixar Pier, did, they didn't seem like they got much of a budget because I feel like most of the budget went to Star Wars land, <laughs> which I'm excited for. That land looks amazing. But yeah, I think it would be really fun to make a, um, a uh, Xenomorph alien themed ride of some sort. That's also on my list. Like I kind of want to have, you know, an animation area, a movie themed area, and then kind of like have that bro broken down into genres, you know, and then have more of like, you know, you know Japanese style, I, whether it's based off of an anime or like I said, with Super Sentai, AKA Power Rangers. Um, I just think that would be really, really fun. And then people also suggested video games, but I don't really feel like video games, like I might have one or two like mini things, but I don't want to like dedicate a whole area just to, just to video games. Cause we're, I'm kind of like, I've kind of done that already with, you know, the Mario park and before that the Pokemon park and before that the, like the, the main video game park that had Sonic in it. And um, some of those concepts I would love to revisit, but probably as their own experiences. Like, I feel like Pokemon could easily be its own park. Like, you could have so much with Pokemon. And the same thing, like, it would be fun to revisit Sonic because I would like to make, like, a little Sonic mini park. And, you know, like, even stuff like Mega Man and, and Bioshock. There's so many great games that would make fantastic freaking rides, which is why I'm so excited that Universal Studios is making a video gamed Mario themed area. Cause if that does well, I feel like that's going to give, you know, theme park builders, developers, Imagineers, whatever you want to call them. I feel like that's going to give them more and not even them, the people that like sign the, you know, sign the checks, you know, the, the, the CEOs or whatever. I feel like that will give them more comfort into allowing those kind of experiences to exist. You know, like the only other video game themed attraction that I can think of just off the top of my head, um, was that Tomb Raider ride, but that wasn't even based off the video games. It was based off the movie, the old Angelina Jolie movie. So, um, I could be wrong. I just don't think there's been really any video game experiences. There is a Mass Effect ride. It's a simulator ride. I don't even remember where it is. It's like a, it's like, um, it's like, uh, what's it called? Like Great America or something like that? I don't remember. I want to see it because I love Mass Effect and it just sounds super awesome, but I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> oh man. And I was trying so hard to like come up with different ways of like giving buildings a very distinct look, you know? I do eventually end up copying buildings over and then slightly changing how they look or changing their color scheme just cause like, I didn't want to spend multiple episodes just doing nothing but building building. This is Planet Coaster for crying out loud. We got to get to the coasters, which um, I'm pretty sure, I don't want to, I don't want to, I want to over promise them be wrong, but I'm pretty sure we get to building or at least starting to build a coaster in the next episode of this series and it's been a lot of fun i've been putting a ton of work into it and it is going to be relatively in the same 
vein as the Rip Ride Rocket Coaster. I do kind of theme it to that because the Rip Ride Rocket Coaster, I think that's what it's called. It's the music themed coaster over at Universal Studios in Florida. It's got such a cool concept to it. But what I really think is cool is the lift hill. The lift hill is straight up 90 degrees and they have like these really cool trusses, these um, these support structures that you would see on like a stage, but they have them in rings and you actually go through them and there's lights on them. It's a really cool look and that was something I wanted to replicate for that ride. Now, I don't wanna to talk too much about it because we're not there yet. We gotta build all these buildings first, darn it. Um, but I, I, I I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun and, uh, we are actually getting pretty close to the end of this video. This one was sped up a little bit faster because there was a lot of building to be done in this episode. And I didn't want y'all to be watching me struggle placing windows and columns, you know, um, one of the things I am really happy with is how the coffee shop, uh, the, the coffee store or the, the, I don't know, the coffee place, the coffee, the coffee house turned out. I utilized a design that I created for the old, old video game park projects. I had these buildings that I made and I was really happy with how they turned out and I didn't get to really utilize them all that much because I never really finished that project because I, I talked about this in an episode way back when, but man, it was killing my computer. My computer could not, my computer could barely handle one section of that park, let alone the Sonic, the Pokemon, and then the Mario section. Like, I can't tell you how many times I lost full episodes because Planet Coaster would straight up crash. The, the, the combined effort of running Planet Coaster and XSplit or OBS, because I tried both, would just, just, just destroy my machine it was so sad <laughs> so i'm happy now to have like a computer that kicks so much butt and uh be able to make these things because it's a lot of fun i'm rattling i apologize i'm rattling a lot in this episode because i don't know what time it's just a bunch of buildings what do you want from me i don't know i'm sorry i'm trying so hard but uh i am happy with how a lot of the stuff turned out in this episode and i am looking forward to the next one and i hope you all are as well if you like this content, if you like what I'm doing here on this channel, consider hitting that like button, leaving a comment, and if you really like this content and you want to help me out, consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. Check out my Discord. I've got several channels on there, um, some of which you can ask me questions and I will reply to them um, on these videos. I've got several Planet Coaster uh, related channels on the Discord, and I also have channels for art and animation and television um, and streaming services and just general, general talks. If you want to join a small community, um, we've got a lot of really cool people on there uh shout out to the discord members that are on there already i really appreciate it um and that's it for the shout outs i <laughs> i'm sorry if that was one too many but um i do appreciate all the support i appreciate your viewership thank you all so much and as always i will chat with you later